CA Spool Release 11.5 Web Interface. This video will present the highlights and functions of the CA Spool Release 11.5 Web Interface. The CA Spool Release 11.5 Web Interface offers the same functions and facilities to corporate intranet users as the CA Spool menu system is offered to 3270 terminal users. By adding an HTML presentation layer to the kernel of the CA Spool menu system, which converts the 3270 data stream to HTML on the fly. The web GUI interface runs as a native CGI gateway program under the free ZOS HTTP server, which is part of the ZOS base product. The following started tasks must be active in order for the web interface to be used. The CA spool task running program ESM main and the web services task running program IMWH TTPD. You then designate a URL to access the interface, a format HTTP colon slash slash hostname colon port slash CA spool slash ESFH web. When the name field of a text file is clicked, the file is automatically formatted and converted into linearized PDF, HTML, or RTF formats. Formatting, orientation, line spacing, and font style are controlled by the file's form, FCB, line count, characters, channel skips, and maximum record length. The administrator defines the default text viewing format. The users may overwrite the text viewing format as can be defined in the web interface options. The printers box to the left of the menu lists the printers to which the user has access. When a printer name in the printer index is clicked, the request is automatically routed to the printer owning system to obtain the true printer status. When a file name is clicked, the request is automatically routed to the file owning system, and a new window is opened with the selected file displayed. This is a sample text report chosen from the file name list. The Files tab shows the files the user is authorized to see under the printers to which they have access. These files have not yet been printed. The All Files tab is the same as the Files tab, but it also shows files that have printed. By clicking on a name in the file name list, you will display a file. This is a sample file in text format. You can also display files in PDF, HTML, or RTF format. In the options, with the View Text Files as drop-down box, you can select which format, 3270, PDF, HTML, or RTF, is enabled. Shown here is an example of a report in PDF format. Shown here is an example of a report in HTML format. In the example shown here, there is a web link URL that is used to access the report. The URL occurs via the CA spool email function. Shown here is an example of a report in RTF format. The printers tab presents the same list as the printers list on the left, with the ability to sort the list in ascending, descending order, and to filter printer names based on status, FCB, form, queue, and desk name. The metrics tab presents the real-time utilization statistics for the printers listed on the left. The VPI, Virtual Printer Interface tab, lists the printers that are defined in VTAM via the parameter VPS equals. CA Spool automatically opens the VTAM ACBs for these virtual printers, so TP monitors, like IMS, CICS, or IDMS, can print to them and have their printed reports automatically stored in CA Spool for further processing. These unique printers need to be started and establish a direct and constant connection with CA Spool. The NJE tab shows the connections that CA Spool has with NJE nodes. Based on NJE definitions, CA Spool only connects to and uses NJE nodes that are defined to it. You are able to start, stop, halt, etc. NJE session with nodes. The commands tab enables you to, in the box, enter CA spool commands. Clicking the auto refresh tab will cause the current panel to be refreshed for a designated time interval. 
for example, every 10 seconds. This enables the web interface to be used as a status display monitor. Clicking on the options link presents a box for specifying CA school system information, browse window options, and interface properties. Clicking on help presents a help box describing the varying skills for each tier. For additional information, please review the web interface installation portion of the customization chapter of the CA Spool 11.5 customization guide. For more information on CA's enterprise report management solutions, please visit www.ca.com output.